Since we're recognizing one of the most common diseases impacting our beloved fur babies, canine osteoarthritis. Veterinarian Dr. Kristen Kirkby Shaw, joined by Meredith Kahn of American Regent Animal Health, gave us all the details. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Kirkby Shaw, and today we're talking about canine osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is the number one cause of chronic pain in dogs and estimated to affect at least one out of five dogs. It's a condition that starts developing actually in young dogs, often within the first year of their life. And then it starts to progress as they get, eight, as they get older. That's because it's almost always secondary to a genetic or developmental condition such as elbow dysplasia or hip dysplasia. While any breed of dog can develop arthritis, there are certain breeds that have a greater risk, including golden retrievers, Labradors, and German Shepherds. Finally, one of the biggest risk factors for developing arthritis is if your dog is overweight. The things that you're gonna look for to know if your dog has arthritis is if they're young, they may show signs of limping or just an abnormal gait, especially after, after activity or exercise. As they age, the symptoms tend to wax and wane and may be confused with general signs of aging. So you, what you'll wanna look for is your dog just slowing down or not wanting to do the things they used to wanna do, like go for walks, having difficulty jumping in and out of the car, or just not getting up to greet you when you come home. And I'm Meredith Kahn, and I wanna to talk to you about what you can do. So early intervention here is really key. Make sure to talk to your veterinarian about implementing certain lifestyle changes like dietary management for weight loss and the prescription of drugs like Adequin Canine, also known as polysulfated glycosaminoglycan. Adequin Canine is the only FDA approved injectable disease modifying osteoarthritis drug for dogs and it's proven to actually proactively treat the disease state and not just signs and symptoms of osteoarthritis, which really differentiates it from other options out there, like supplements and non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Meredith is exactly right, and the one other thing I would add is that it's a misconception that dogs with arthritis shouldn't be active. In fact, we know that they should have regular low-impact activity, such as going for a walk every single day. Remember that Adequin Canine is a prescription drug, so only your veterinarian can decide if it's the right choice for your dog. If your veterinarian chooses to go ahead and prescribe Adequin Canine, make sure to discuss any possible side effects, such as hypersensitivity to the active ingredient of Adequin Canine. Adequin Canine should never be used in dogs with a known or suspected bleeding disorder, and it should be used with caution in dogs with a renal or hepatic impairment. If you're, learning to, if you're looking to learn more about arthritis in general, to know a little bit more about the signs and symptoms and all of the treatment options available, you can visit caninearthritis.org. You can also visit adequincanine.com or you can call 1-800-458-0163 where you can request a full copy of Adequin Canine's prescribing information. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.